What's up world, YouTubers, you know your tech guy here, bringing you a quick little tutorial on how to download, install, and play remote play on your video show TV. So let's get started. So what you first need to do is get a USB or SD or plug your video show directly into your computer and go to this website here. I'll leave the link in the description. You want to download this file right here. The remote play version 1.3.2 APK file. Download that onto your NVIDIA Shield TV or SD card or even a flash drive. And once that is done, you go over to your NVIDIA Shield TV. Also, need to download the app called AN Explorer or ES File Explorer whichever two they're both free and I have both of them so you go over to one of the explorers and explore if you download this one you have three options internal storage SD card or your flash drive whichever one you put the APK file you go to in my case I put it on the the white flash so I go down to it I look for where I put it as you can see here remote play click on it Da, da, da install it I'm not gonna do it because I already installed it onto my system so once that's done you then go down to settings go over to apps and then what you want to do is find it and download the apps which is right here then you open it but before you do that you go to settings and then depending on your how fast your internet service is if you got your PS4 and your video shield TV connected through Ethernet. In my case, I have both of them connected through Ethernet. So I could put the video quality and the frame rate both on high. And the frame rate on high is to the standard. And then you go back. And also, from what I've encountered, Instead of using the NVIDIA Shield TV to play any PS4 games, I'd rather use a PS4 controller connected via USB to the NVIDIA Shield TV. Because with that, I will have the full function of all the controls, the buttons, including the, the trackpad in the middle. And I will demonstrate that very shortly. So, click next. I don't know if you heard my PS4 turned on. So now we're connecting. So once that's connected, you could then use your PS4 controller. You know, you might experience a bit of lag, maybe a millisecond or so, but hey, it all depends on your internet connection at the time. So go into Grand Theft Auto and test it out. Right now, for me, I see that it's having little problems connected to the internet service. Kind of lag here and there. But with this cool feature, you can have your PS4 in the living room or in the bedroom. And you can have your NVIDIA Shield TV in the living room or in the bedroom, whichever way you want it. If you do more gaming in the living room, you can have your PS4 in the living room. If you do more gaming in the bedroom, have your PS4 in the, game in the bedroom. But wherever, wherever you do the last gaming now, you just want to have a quick fix of gaming. Have your NVIDIA Shield TV there and connect it with remote play and it's just like playing on your ps4 but you might experience a little you know delay here and there but overall you won't want to do no in intense gaming like call of duty or online gta where you got to be you know on point and with no lag so you want to do like you know simple gaming but I'm going to demonstrate with Grand Theft Auto on 
the PS4 controller connected via um USB. And this also works with this feature also works with the um any Android phone. And what you could do is purchase a little cable, the little micro USB to micro USB cable, connect one end to your phone and the next end to your PS4 controller, and then you could use a clip. I got the Nyko PS4 clip, and I connect my Note 4 and the PS4 together, and on the go game and wherever you at. So here it is to demonstrate that all the controls work. As you can see, experience a little lag here, but this is just for demonstration. As you can see, the icon up there, you know, experience a little lag, but you can see, I hit this, I change my views, and I get my input interaction menu up there. Again, I got all the buttons work, and everything is connected. Come on, now you want to be lagging any other time, you'll be working just fine. But there you go, a quick little demonstration on oh also another thing <clears throat> not that I just did that when you press the PS button it's gonna it's not gonna interact with the PS4 it's gonna interact with the Nvidia Show TV so it's gonna go back it's gonna be used as a home button so what you do is what you have to do is if you wanna um easy that you can either just cancel out I do that or you could connect a a mouse which is what I have here connect a mouse and click on the click and hold on the PS button and then you go down and close it up as you would and you got that but yeah guys that was just a quick little tutorial but yeah that's how you download install and play remote play on your video show TV. So until next time, guys, I'll catch you in the next one.